think I'd go slick, you know? I think I'd actually more like the sort of offbeat Southern, I don't know. A guy that's funny, it's always a good thing. A gentleman, I guess that we're a trying, real, is that what you're saying? Gen- no, no, not, not necessarily. really. No. <laughs> I'm down with a cow tipper. <laughs> right, right. Um, so what is the first thing you notice about a guy? Is it his personality, his looks? How do you <laughs> figure out, you know, whether or not this guy is worthy of well, Rachel know, Bilson's time? <laughs> well, looks aren't so important. You know, you learn and like, you really got to talk to someone. They have to make you laugh. They have to be quick. And witty, that's a big thing. And that's true. Yeah, that's kind of a deal breaker. So, you know, Rachel Bilson, she's a mature woman. You know, you look at her, you look so young. I know. Why do you look so young? What's I don't the secret? No, it's good for like you. Drink Hold I've on. Been drinking. Rich. Round of applause. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> My driver the other day thought I was 17. Right? Do you get people treating you like you're young? You're like, hold on, I'm not that young. Yeah, I know. Like, I really don't need help w- wiping my ass in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I do. You get offers? You get, offer, you get offers for that? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a problem. There's some dudes in the lobby uh, waiting to help any way they can. But <laughs> a, so a theory we came up with with recently is it seems like every every leading girl or every well, when when they come up with these lists like who's the hottest chicks who people like and you no know, it seems like a lot of these women in their late twenties early thirties like. It's it's really like thirties the hot age. Uh, and I, hot, hey, like, I like that. I'll support that. Since I'm thirty, I like what you're saying. No, but when you name, think about it, Kavino. We said it the other day. Well, Rich, your birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. I'm is it be, really? Yeah, be thirty two. Happy birthday, almost. But uh, but it's it's one of those things where it used to be like everyone sweats girls in their early twenties. But it seems like everyone yeah. that is in the spotlight, whether it be Beyonce yeah. or even Kim Kardashian's ass, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why'd, you, you and, why'd you laugh at that? Uh, <laughs> hey, it's a good thing. I ain't hating on an ass, you know? <laughs> the Albas and the Beals. And everyone's in late 20s, 30s. It's You're, not that a, is true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know why? Because a lot of these Minka younger Kel- girls... Minka Kelly's in her yeah, early 30s. They're, she's so sweet. I know. It's all about being 30. I'm a lot of these you. other girls are pushing down our throat. The young Hollywood is, you know, barely out of the Musketeer phase. You know, a lot of them have toddler faces. So afterbirth dripping from Yeah, them. they're still like way, <laughs> way young looking. But Rachel Bilson is, is she's repping good, man. We appreciate that. You know, do you know Minka, by the way? You I do. She's so sweet. I really like her. How do you, what, what you work with her on? I haven't just pals? worked with her. Yeah, I just know her from How do you become the pals with her? Like, hey, you're like, a cool hey, hot chick. I'm a cool hot you. chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm famous and awesome. And are you so on a TV are you? show? Me too. Oh my God. You, da- you dated Derek <laughs> Peter? You must look at each other like, I know you. You know me, right? Hey. <laughs> You know who I am. Right. Is, that a weird, is that a weird first encounter? Because you seem like a, a just a regular cool chick. I'd but like when to you're think so. when you're in this Hollywood <laughs> scene, though, because no, at, as much as you are a cool, chill girl, you still live in that Hollywood world. So I, I mean, not really though. Well, like I do. Would you avoid it? Do you like say I'm I not- do avoid it? I mean, I'm from there, so to me, I just live at home, like where I grew up, you know. And I don't go out. I go to bed at night. I'm not afraid. When you uh, when you do meet someone like yes. uh, Minka Kelly, or yes. you make friends with someone. Is that an odd thing? Because most of the time when you meet a new friend, mm-hmm. you meet a new friend. You Now you're meeting people that I know of you. Let's meet each other. Well, it is a weird thing, definitely. Like, you see somebody, like, out or something, and they're automatically they to say hi. Like, on Regis and Kelly, like, George Clooney automatically said hi to me. I'm not hating on that, though, because it's George Clooney. But yeah. it's just, like, one of those weird things. Like, oh, hey, how are you? Like, you've known each other. You ever meet celebrities and, and they don't recognize you, and then you feel like now I have to explain <laughs> that, hey, I got a show on the CW. Can you imagine, and, like, how embarrassing? I'm yeah. like, hi, how are you? They're like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, nobody. Never mind. That's so funny. <laughs> what movies? What show? Wait, what? Yeah. No, um, <laughs> something that we talked about the other day, Kavino's back and forth from L.A. to New York a lot. Yeah. We, we try to do some back and forth stuff yeah. on the show. And in L.A., it seems like a lot of people, we are talking about the rude nature in which it's like the minute you meet someone, they're like, what do you do? Right. Is that just a douchey L.A. vibe? I think or... it's just a douchey thing in general. But... Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's probably definitely more of an L.A. thing. Is it hard to make? Because you grew up in I L.A. I have more all the there, same... More there than anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure that's true. But like my whole, all my friends, everyone are people I grew up with, so. I was going to say, that's the advantage. That yeah. Is that an advantage, the fact that you actually grew up there? Because it seems like everyone goes out there with their dream. Right. And it's hard to right. make friends, but you actually have a, a support system there. I have, yeah, I have a full on support system. All my girls from, you know, when I was 13, 14 years old. So that's I'm awesome. very lucky. Who are the girls that you grew up with that actually, you know, built a career like yours in Hollywood? Uh, actually, none of, them? none of them are, no, not really. I mean, some of them, you know, tried the acting thing and like, what it, like your best thing. friend, what does she do? My best friend, well, she was in school to be a child psychologist, but now she's pregnant and married, so she's doing that thing. Yeah, so how does that dynamic work out when you're living this crazy 
Hollywood well, lifestyle. It actually works because her husband is the executive producer of my show, so it's all. Oh it's no way! Yeah, I introduced them. Oh wow, that's yeah. great. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, so I'm uh, keeping you know, it tight. You know, look at you matchmaker. Crew. That's right. I know Cupid. <laughs> yo, yo, what's Some up, people Patty call Stanger? me. What's up, uh, what's up, Steve Ward? <laughs> Celebrity matchmaker Rachel Bilson on the show uh, again. The CW series Heart of Dixie Monday nights. It's it's a heart tugger. I caught Rich crying in the office. I wanted to tweet people out and let people know that she was here, and I tried finding her on Twitter, Rich, and you weren't I'm there. Not on there, was a, there was a bunch of imposters, yeah, so I got to ask you, how come? How come? In today's world of, of... I really don't feel like I want to be telling people, like, when I'm going to the bathroom or, like, when I'm <laughs> eating a burrito, you know? Like, when you're at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. When I'm at Chi- I mean, I would be happy to say yeah. when I'm at Chick-fil-A, but, no, I don't know. I just... Facebook, all that stuff. I don't really understand it, and I kind of. So you stay away from it completely. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, like, for fun or to kill time, what does Rachel Bilson do? I play Angry Birds. Really? That's your thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want now, Rio? Like, what? 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 Uh. No. Can I tell you what happened? Yeah. I got to the very last like game and the very last whatever, and a kid was playing with my iPad and deleted it. I gotta start all over. What? Again. I know. So uh, we're on a we're on like a West Coast to East Coast six. 